Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we have an important topic to cover for Windows users. If you've ever encountered the dreaded your PC device needs to be repaired error with the code shown on the screen, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to fix this issue and get your PC back up and running. So, let's dive right in. If you can't enter recovery mode when you press F1 or all the keys presented are not working then you'll need to have a Windows 10 or 11 USB disk and boot from it. Before we start fixing the error, let's understand what it means. The error code typically occurs when there's a problem with the boot configuration data on your system. This can happen due to various reasons, such as corrupt system files or misconfigured settings. Once you boot from the USB stick or the installation media, select your language and region preferences, then click Next. Now, instead of clicking Install Now, look for and click on Repair Your Computer at the bottom left corner. On the next screen click on the Troubleshoot option. Then click on the command prompt to open it. To begin, initiate the System File Checker SFC command, which scans for any corrupted or absent Windows system files and attempts to rectify them. This command will take some time so be patient. Next, perform a disk check scan to identify any errors on your hard disk. Utilize the subsequent command, substituting C with the letter of your primary partition if you've modified it. After completing both of these scans, restart your PC and attempt to boot it up normally. With any luck, the error should no longer appear. This did not work for me. Now, we'll use a series of commands to rebuild the boot configuration data. Type the following commands. Recreating it can often be the key to resolving the issue, as this is frequently what triggers the error. This command is used in the Windows command prompt to repair the boot configuration data and fix issues related to the system's boot process. This command specifically focuses on repairing or recreating the boot sector on the system partition. If you see this error then this is where the problem is, so let us fix it. To fix this error, within the command prompt window, input the following command to initiate the disk part utility, then press enter. Next, type the following command to list all the disks connected to your computer. From the list, locate the Windows installation disk, mine is disk 0, so I will select disk 0. Type the following command to list all the volumes under disk 0. Identify the partition with EFI extensible firmware interface. Typically, it's smaller in size and formatted in the FAT32 file system. Mine is volume 3. Next, select the EFI partition volume. Mine is volume 3 so I selected volume 3. Assign a new letter to the selected volume. Select the newly assigned volume. Enter the following command after selecting the new volume. Replace N with whatever letter you gave the volume. Myself I gave it N as you saw earlier. This command copies boot files to the EFI partition in the N volume. Let me now check if this has fixed the problem. Click on continue, and the computer will restart. The series of commands to rebuild the boot configuration data BCD are as follows.
Sometimes the fix boot command does not fail and give the access denied error, so you have to run all the commands in this list, and there you have it. That's how you can fix the your PC or device needs to be repaired error with the code 0225 on Windows. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in our next video, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.